Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Instructions Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Sword Art Online. Uh, a civilization. I'm going to be butchering that for the entire time. So, very sorry about that. They, even in the show, they don't even say it. I still can't understand it right. So anyway, this is Season 1, Episode 2, called The Demon Tree. So we're starting off with 379 in the game. That's the year. And basically, Kirito remembers what happened, but he can't log out of the system and something is wrong. He knows something's off. So then we cut to a super awesome intro by Lisa and overall uh, what's going to be happening for the series, which I'm super excited for. I really love the visuals in it. Great intro. I love the intro. Uh, then he sees this huge tree and sees Yu-Gi-Oh, but doesn't remember him, and uh, vice versa. He doesn't remember him either. And then he uh, basically technically has amnesia, and basically... Um, the, he, Yuji calls him like a Vetta or something where basically like a I don't know a higher up power I forgot what they used in the actual what they actually said this was like two weeks ago anyway so basically he has amnesia because apparently higher ups can take people make them lose their memories and drop them off in random places and it's like oh, you'll figure it out <laughs> So, um, Yujo decides he'll go with him after the tree and offers food. Then he talks about Alice and thinks that she is alive and not really gone. And it will take a week to get to Central City, but um, they can't go through because of the whole taboo index. And then we have Yujo is calling um, is to cut down the tree. And I think they say it's a gigas uh, cedar. And people have been trying for 300 years. And Kirito offers to help. And he's super awful at it. And so they head to the village. And the swordsman. Um, Zink allowed him into the city. And he said he'll get the sister. Because he was like in a church area. So he has to go get the nun sister. And Kurita is going over things and toss off um, Central City. And then we cut to a mysterious girl in this tower that's in Central City. And that's in the episode. So I give this a B plus because I did not understand what the hell was happening. Um, I feel like they could have done some more context on like what they actually did to him. Like, maybe boot him into the game they couldn't do it because something was wrong with him or something like that. To me, that would make more sense to, you know, put in there. It's more context to just throw him into the game. It's like, there you go. Have fun. We'll let you know what happens because he can't log out or anything, but he knows it's a game. So at first he wasn't sure if it was a game or not. Then he's like, oh yeah, this is definitely a game because he does the S thing. And so, yeah. So, yeah. But I love the visuals. I love the intro. The ending was actually pretty neat, too. So, anyway. And that's another thing. The whole intro didn't really reflect what was happening in the episode. Um, so, I was like, uh, okay. I'll have to wait for that. But, okay. But other than that, it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. Because, um, to me, if it's like a C- minus or lower, I'm not rating it. I'm literally going to tell you I didn't like it. I'll tell you why I didn't like it, and I'm just going to move on. Sometimes I won't even do a review for something if it's so bad. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's what I'm going to do for this episode, this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode, do you agree or disagree. Just tell me your all thoughts down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.